with I stayed off campus, so I was dealing with some crazy roommates sometimes. Oh no. <laughs> you got all these people doing these different things that you've never seen, peer pressure, but it's like you got to come in, you kind of like have to stay grounded in what you believe in and like your faith. And I think that's what really helped me down um, throughout all that craziness I've seen. <laughs> because we, they, be, they be crazy out there. Yeah. So talk about it, right? Um, when you are young mm-hmm. and unexperienced and you go to this brand new world mm-hmm. where your eyes get open to all these different things, like how did you stay grounded? Like how, because you just spoke on, you know, how your faith was what helped you. Mm-hmm. But what, what uh, prepared you for it? It was definitely what my mom instilled in me. It was definitely that. You know, when you're younger and your parents are doing all that lecturing, it's not making sense. At first, you're like, oh, my gosh, like, why are you saying all this? And But as you get older, it makes sense. Like, um, you know what they say? She knew what she was saying. She just said it wrong. I just ain't like the way she said it. <laughs> that, like, that's what it is because every time, like, something would happen, I just think back on, like, what my mama told me or what my mama taught me. And it's like, I came to appreciate those things because not everybody is raised in the way that you are. And so that's why so many people go out and they just wild out like that Mm -hmm. because they they didn't have that solid foundation growing up. And so I'm just grateful (laughs) to have had a pretty good (laughs) foundation. (laughs) What advice would you give to students, I mean, to young people that want to go away for college and then their parents is like, no, I don't want you to go. I want you to stay home. Since you experienced that living to go to college, would you advise somebody to go? I definitely think, yeah, getting away is one way for you to mature. Like a lot of people, they like to say I'm spoiled and I I was a little bit. Um, Definitely. (laughs) A little bit, a little bit. (laughs) I was, I was a little bit, but going off to college, it taught me how to take care of myself, how to maintain my own responsibilities. So, you know, like I said before, like I had to get myself up out of bed. If I don't get up and cook, I'm not going to eat. So now I got to cook my own meals. I got to do my own laundry. So it just, it helps you mature in a way. And that's what it did for me. It helped me gain that independence that I needed to gain outside of my family because my mama was doing everything for me, <laughs> which is not bad. And I still love it's it. Not, it's not but good. I did need to gain that independence because, you know, I'm getting up there in age now. So makes sense. That's good. It's, it's definitely good to get away. That's good. Well, like not to cont- contradict what you just said, mm-hmm. getting away is not for everybody. It's not. I you know, some so. people are not mature enough to yeah, to course. go away. Mm-hmm. And, and I understand the side of it where a parent said, you know, I'm not ready to have you go on your own. And it doesn't mean that they don't trust you. It just means that you have some growing to do, mm-hmm. more growing to do. And, you know, um, I would say embrace it. Don't fight it. Yeah. Uh, I'll say spend the, the two years that you have at a local college. If you can, yeah. Um, you know what I mean? And then if you feel like, if they feel like you're ready and you can convince them, 